it's over, Dr. No. There's no place to go. Au contraire, Mr. Bond. There's no place to go for you. Get him, boys. Now you see, instead of making a very elaborate plan to capture you where you inevitably will escape from, I'm just going to shoot you right now. Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and this is my newest air gun. It's the Walter PPKS from James Bond, and it's actually made by Walter themselves in Germany. So I have high expectations for this gun. Um, it uses 4.5 millimeter steel BBs, uh, CO2 capsules, it has blowback, and it's made out of metal. All right, let's open up the box. Uh, maintenance, safety, instructions, we don't need that. This is what we need. As you can see, it's pretty small and compact. That's why James Bond uses it. And I think the KGB also uses this gun. I'm not sure. Um, this is made out of plastic and the trigger, uh, the uh, the body and the underslide and upper slide is all metal. It does have some uh, weight to it, especially for its size. In fact, let me show you just how much it weighs. 560 gram or 19.7 ounce okay let me give you a detailed view so it does look high quality made uh, the aim cannot be adjusted so I hope it shoots straight and here you can see the full name, Carl Walter Waffenfabrik. And the real caliber is 7.65. Huh, I didn't know that. That's a very special bullet. And on the other side, we find the real caliber of this air gun. That's 4.5 millimeters. And here's the safety. This is to fire. And this is safety on. So, as you can see, now it doesn't work. Here is a size comparison with a Colt 1911. And this Colt is also made by a real company that makes real guns. Six hour. And this Colt 1911 shoots amazingly. So, to load this gun, you press this button here. This magazine comes out. Yes, it is very, very small. Here, you can put the steel BBs in. And the CO2 capsule goes in here. In fact, let's put one in there right now. Uh, this little key is included in the box. All right, let's turn it. It's like a wind-up toy. Oh, no sis. Now the normal Allen key that you get with every air gun doesn't fit. So you have to use this key. And now let's put some steel BBs in here. Here are the steel BBs. I always use these. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, you can pull this down. Okay. Oh, it's pretty easy. 
but you cannot use a speed loader and it's best to hold your other finger at the rear otherwise the steel BB just falls through. Okay, so you can fit about 15 steel BBs in there and it's not that easy to load because with one hand uh, you have to hold the magazine and this slide that is uh, spring loaded and with the other hand you have to put the steel BBs in and also cover up this hole so they don't fall out. I actually found a better way to load the steel BBs, just turn the magazine around and put the BBs in the back. That hole is bigger. Okay, let's close it up and see how much FPS we can get. I'm very curious. Alright, let's try this baby out. So the FPS is always between 260 and 280 and for some reason I had a lot of unregistered shots. Okay, it's not that powerful. I hope at least it's accurate. Alright, so first I did some practice shots from 5 meters and this is the result. Uh, at first it was a bit all over the place, but as soon as I got used to the gun, it got better. Now there is no release pin to let the upper slide go back when the gun is empty. So what you do is reload the magazine, put it back into the gun and then just pull the upper slide back and release it. And now you're ready to fire again. Okay, safety on. And now my CO2 capsule is uh, almost empty. I don't feel as much power as in the beginning. I got about 60 shots out of it. So now it's time for a new CO2 capsule. I'm going to put one in with oil in it. So it can get some lubrication. So as soon as you can feel that you cannot turn anymore, just stop, don't over tight it, otherwise you will destroy your seal. Okay. I'm now ready for round number two. And this time it's for real. And here's the result from 5 meters away. As you can see, it's not that bad. We have some tight grouping here, but as soon as I went to 10 meters, it all fell apart. So we got four holes in the black, two very close to each other, but six of them just went wild. Uh, so you got about a 50-50 chance 
to hit your target. Okay, let's see if I can hit some cans from 10 meters away. As you saw, it was not that easy to hit the cans, but if it was a direct hit, then we did have penetration. Okay, let's see how many cans we can penetrate. Alright, let's see. So, one... Two... Only two. Oh, that's not that impressive. Okay, let's see if we can break a glass jar. It's not that thick. And when you're done shooting, always remove your CO2 capsule. Never let it in there. So you are not going to win any marksman competitions with it. Uh, it's also not that powerful, but it is fun to shoot because uh, the blowback is pretty good, especially for its size and it only costs 100 euro it also didn't give me any troubles whatsoever it always worked so at least we have that now don't forget to like this video and maybe subscribe to see more and you all have a nice summer now bye